All right, man, what's poppin'? You already know uh, Mr. J Hill in the building. Usually do a conversation series, man. Have a conversation with dope artists, dope people, dope entrepreneurs, just people that's dope in general, man. I got two dope individuals in the building with me. Kings County Twins is here. What's up, fellas? What How y'all feeling? What up? What up? What up? We in the building, man. What's good, yes, sir, man? I'm happy good, to be man. here. Um, so, sheesh, where do we begin, man? Let's 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 go to the beginning, right? Because I told okay. you I want to have a, a conversation. Yep. Um, I don't want to talk all music but we definitely gonna get into the music Absolutely. so i guess Absolutely. we can start right there like um how long y'all been doing this thing since we was nine mm. yeah so that's over about about 20 years, 20 years. okay yeah you've been doing it about 20 years man started, started with no beat and just 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 writing and just yeah. inspired in the bronx mm. you know what yeah. I'm saying? A, a lot of stuff happened that time definitely definitely so like what made y'all well I, I can't even ask you like what made you get into music because you was nine did you even know like what the hell well we to be honest with you you know my bad bro, my bad twin but to be honest with you nah i mean uh we had a cousin that was like, I guess he was real, I, I think he was real talented at freestyling, mm -hmm. and we didn't know how to formulate bars, we was always inspired that he would always just, you know, rhyme about whatever it is around the surroundings, and that kind of inspired us to be like, you know what, you know, hey, I want to do that too, I want to at least try to write that mm -hmm. down, so he helped us formulate our bars, and then we just, once he showed us how to write it down on paper, we did everything a cappella after that, it was yeah, like it was no beats, it was just a cappella. We, we wanted to structure, structure everything around the artistic expression of writing in the first place yeah. so we don't just write songs we write we can write movies we can write poetry because we do all of that damn yeah. and this was at nine years old that yeah. they was teaching you yeah. so i remember you was like once you get your music thing serious like what you mean by serious because so so a lot of stuff happened in life like you grow you grow old you know i mean like you try to figure out this music business man everybody wants to rap mm -hmm. Everybody, everybody's a rapper nowadays so like you're trying to figure out what sets you apart from everybody else in order to like you know put you ahead of your peers and most of the time, what I've learned early on is you got to have a, a means in order to fuel that vehicle mm -hmm. because pe people ain't going to talk to you unless there's money involved. Yeah. And then, so, the, you know, being with the money involved, you know, like, you know, getting serious. When we had, we had, we was both served in the Army. So as far mm -hmm. as like, um, you know, him being in, you know, I'm being in Alaska at one time, at one point in our lives. He was in, you know, uh, Fort Bragg, North yeah. Carolina. So for us, we was like, Jumping now we're trying to. perfectly good airplane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know, we was having a good time kind of like trying to formulate things, but we never was taking our craft serious. We was trying to build what we have individually with our families. And then, right, right, right. Yeah, foundation. foundation. And then once we was like, all right, now we solidify, we back home. It's time to get, you know, time, time to, to get work. serious and time to work. So now we're here. So. Yo, let's talk about the um, the military part. Right? All right. I feel like, you know, and, and, and this is not just artists, it's creative, is anybody that's in that entrepreneurial field, right? You, right. Like, you have a dream and, um, you know, like you, you, you're working so hard to get to this dream, but you don't have no money, right? But you're like, right. I'm gonna go 100% of my dream. Right. When really, do you think you should sacrifice maybe five years and, and get a job and, and, right. get, and work in a career and save some money? Like, cause I'm, yeah. I'm assuming, I know the military helps you guys tremendously. Yeah, so absolutely. I, like, what, what even even to this that? day, I'll jump back into it again. Mm. And like, I, I learned a lot from the military. I mean, shoot, I, I took two bombs for this country. Mm. And I mean, like, I'm not, you're not talking to just a regular dude. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it took me out for a year. And I, and I had to, you know, compartmentalize with exactly what I wanted out of life. Mm -hmm. And I knew I always had a love for music. So even when I was deployed in Afghanistan, anybody that I found that rap, we got videos of us rapping in the tents and, and <laughs> freaking motors and dropping everywhere and freaking you hear the cannon crew letting off rounds and stuff like that. But we still like, whatever, we're going to get these bars off. You know what I mean? So like yeah. you make those lifetime, lifelong connections with people and it lasts forever. Yeah. But it always inspired me to get through because, you know, um, Especially when they were cast evacuating me to like the nearest five, I, they would they just the whole convoy just wanted to know that I was good because they knew like you know my truck got hit and I'm the lead gunner, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying I'm man in the fifty cal. Everybody's like, damn, yo, Mitch got hit, yo, what the fuck we gonna do? Da, 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 da. So you know I mean, there's a whole deeper story into that, but that'll take forever. But like, j to let everybody know on my convoy that I was good, I just started rapping balls over the radio. And then you, all, all I get the, was the feedback of people like, yeah, Mitch, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Let them know that I'm good. You know, even though I'm fucked up, right. I let them know I'm good. Yeah. So, like, yeah. So they knew he was still him. You know what right. I mean? Like, yeah, absolutely. Right. Now, that's dope. So you definitely would suggest, like, you know, even if, if, you, if you got something that's serious, it's, not, it's nothing wrong with taking a, taking a step back to, right. absolutely. to take more steps forward, right? I, I agree 100%, Thanks. man. I mean, how, like, at the end of the day, we was, we was real serious, you know, uh, before we joined the service, but... Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, we didn't have the means, we didn't have the income. You know, everybody, yeah, they support your dream, but they're not gonna fund your dream. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if you're not Thanks. able to, it's no different than you smoking cigarettes. How are you gonna be a smoke, uh, cigarette smoker and not be able to buy a pack? Mm -hmm. You right. know, it's no different than you, you know, taking that with your craft. If you serious about your craft, you serious about what you want, you gotta be able to fund that. You gotta be able to afford 
the 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 amenities that you want to put forth in your in, in your in your craft in your cra- your your craft or your mm. business. You period. Know, you know yeah, what I mean? your whatever, business, whatever, whatever you, it is, yeah. whatever your venture is. You know what I mean? Whatever your niche is, everybody in this world has a talent. It's just once you find it, you, you, you never give up on it, no okay. matter what you do. Because everybody yeah. has a story, but, you know, we just enjoy the, the artistic expression of that story. Yeah, Damn, that's fire, bro. It's, it's, it's dope because, you know, like, I'm a creative myself, right? right? And I feel like a lot of times it would be better if I just was like, man, let me get a career, get a job, right? Even if I gotta take five years off or something like nah, that. You, yeah. Nah, yeah. I, I would never suggest taking time off from your craft because we wouldn't be- Yeah, we wouldn't be where we are if we did that. Getting the recognition that we're getting right now we, if we took time off. It. So like right. we always perfected our craft consistently, consistently, yeah, consistently. Always work towards it, but if you have to right. be able to fund it, it doesn't mean give it up entirely for five right. years. Sacrifice but, your sleep, basically. Yeah, yeah but, right. but hey, you know, because in the midst of us sacrificing our time to, you know, fight for this country and, you know, do the things that we wanted to do to better ourselves as individuals, we still, Made sure that, hey, he still hit me up. Hey, you wrote this verse for this? Hey, I got this mm-hmm. creative concept with that. Hey, you got this, look at this fire beat we got. And, and then we would just write countries. Two, fire, different, two, two different countries. Two different countries. We over there still, we still creating and still Thanks. delivering product. And then once we get together, hey, let's go record. Let's go get this out the way, da, da, da. And then now that we mm-hmm. comfortable, back up. So when I look at that, right, I look at it as like, um, I was talking to a couple friends of mine and um, I was telling them like the importance of like, you know, going to college, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. I feel like it's, when you when you making music and you in this type of field or like the entertainment, they always try to dumb it down when ain't right. shit dumb about it, right? Not at all. Right. Not but at I all. feel like like hearing you guys say y'all in two different co- countries making right. music, right? You gotta have two different experiences, right? Yeah. right. And yeah. so how did that help? Just the the writing. I, I yeah. give I give him his side and I I go. Okay. All right. So that is, I'm glad that you said that because like. My first time going to college, I was literally still in the military when, when you know what I'm saying, everybody knew my wife on, mm-hmm. on the college at Morgan and stuff like that. My wife was like, come to, you know, you know you're about to get out the military, blah, 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 I know you're transitioning, this, that, and the third. You know, come to college, come to college, come to college. So I, and she knew I love hip hop, and she knew I'm a, I'm a writer, right? So I sat down in one of her classes with Asante, and uh, he was talking about the five fundamentals of hip hop. Mm. You know what I mean? And, and I was like, damn, you they learning hip hop in college? I'm like, wait, damn, I thought this was this <laughs> some like, street shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, <laughs> I thought this was some street shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, but he right. taught me something that's gonna live in my soul forever. Mm. You know what I mean? The five pillars is what people are forgetting right now. Like, you know what I mean? Everybody's trying to bring bars back and bring the creativity back. That's what we doing. But people forgetting that. MCing, DJing, B-boying, graffiti. And the most important thing is what you said was knowledge. Mm, yeah. I mean, I learned that just just, just, just for something simple of, of just pulling up to the class. You know I what I mean? And that's, gonna, that's gonna last man. forever. Nah, that's all good. That's all good. <laughs> Layla is here, I y'all. love dogs. She's yeah, acting yeah. the fucking fool, but yeah. Oh yeah, she make me want a dog, though. hundred <laughs> percent. I miss my dog. Don't get, it. Don't, don't get me into that. Please don't get me that. But yeah, so like, what was yeah. your, your experience? So, so my experience is, you know, kind of similar, similar to that. Um, when he when he broke that down, it made me start really like, like get into mm-hmm. like, you know what? I need to look into that, you know. Mm-hmm. And, you know when deep. I start, it's yeah, because he started telling me that that makes me dive more into my books. Like, I let me dive into, let me look this up, let me research that. Right. You know, we started like when I realized, okay, that's what the fundamentals are. How do mm-hmm. I build off of that? Right. You, you learn, learning, and, yeah, you learning poetry. You mm-hmm. learning how to write. You learning how to form, how to how to validate your sources. Because you know, people be that's the most important thing about college. You know what I mean? Like when I when I went to George Mason, that's the most important thing that I was thinking was is like, okay, what are they structuring and teaching me? Oh. Validate sources. You, that's how you immediately, immediately know if somebody's lying to you. On that's the most important thing to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know somebody's lying. That's the most important thing to me. Yeah. Most important it. thing to me about college is your network. Yeah. Oh. Absolutely. I want, so my fraternity, I, I, I'm a, our fraternity mm-hmm. told me that about validating sources and sources and like drinking deeply. But that's like a whole different right. conversation. But like right, of that, course, of course, of that's course. definitely like something I definitely would tell anybody to just if you have a career, shit, if you mm-hmm. are a human being. Validate your sources. That's make facts. sure you have the facts, right? Instead but of your source, your them. sources is what leads you to your network mm. in the first place. Mm. So, like, you gotta know who's doing what and actually taking it serious. That's like going beyond just the surface of talking to somebody. Like, wait, are you really serious about what you're doing, or are you just talking about what you're okay. serious about what you're doing? Because you I might know, but you're not actually doing the action. So, when I say, you know, our fraternity, we. We, we, you meet everybody from everybody, and everybody's doing a whole bunch of stuff. But you know, for like I know, not everybody's doing what they could be doing. They could be doing more. Okay, and 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 to jump off that, right? So when when you when you guys say, you know, network, and I agree with that wholeheartedly. You know, knowledge is power, but so is network, and who it's all about who you know. In regards like, to their craft, so this, I'm sorry. I, I mean, but any within business itself, like if right. if whatever business that you're you know in, in, um, involved in, it's all about network. Who do you know? How can I get 
you know, where I want to be and, and how does that person connect to that person and it always boils down to a vicious right. circle, you no, know, I, so I, I agree with that 100%. It's crazy because, you know, like, as much as I know that, right, right. like, even I, I still catch it to, to this day, like, just um, challenging myself, like, okay, I got the quality. Okay, mm -hmm. I got the look, I got the followers. Now I need to right. get in these rooms, right? I, keep, I can't keep, I feel like a lot of times as creatives, as artists, we try to like, you know, um, go against what's already written on the wall. Facts. Right, I Definitely. feel like it's, 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 the formula is already there. Don't right. try to go around it, just Facts. just do what it, do what it was there, right? So it's yeah. always networking, right? Absolutely, right. it room, is networking, you put yourself 100%. On, next to the people that the people wanna be with, right? Or That's the people fact. wanna acknowledge, mm -hmm. it just is yeah. what it is, right? Absolutely. Sometimes I catch myself um, trying to do it my way. Do y'all feel the same way oh. in the music thing? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like you know, cause, talk about that struggle. Cause you, I, I got you. I got you. So, so it's funny you say do your own way. That that's ultimately why we're here. You mm -hmm. know, because um, I, I turn on the radio. I listen to other you know other artists, other mainstream artists. I'm thinking some of their content is dope, and then other is like ah, it's washed, it's watered down. It's like ah. You could have you could have put a bar there. I see where you could have formulated something better than that. If you was a writer, you could have easily just picked up on certain things like that. Right. For right. us, we just I was tired of hearing kind of the same. Mm. Turn on the radio, you're gonna hear the same content, That's the same true. the same yeah. overall like tempo, the I same mean, bait, same same this. Just just uh, right. just was having this conversation, yeah, right? Like right. we got the baby, little babies. We already got that, right? Yeah. So give me something what's else. different, right? What's and different. that's why that's why we want to we want to step up to that plate, you know? We, we have something hey, that's never been done. I know before. we're different. I know we sound different. I know we, we we bring a different creative element to hip hop, and we want to bring it. That's what so makes it fun. That's that, the that's the creative nature of it, you know. Let's talk about that though, right? Okay, let's do it. In a world full of so many similarities, right? How does different stand out? We were born. Oh here. yeah. So hey, first and foremost, twins is an anomaly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you mean? twins off rip. We're Think twins. About it. We're identical. Like we're not identical. We're fraternal, but um, we we literally look exactly the same. You know what I'm saying? I, I think they got pass. that wrong. We pass identical, but we were told we're fraternal, <laughs> but I think we're identical. But, okay. you know, hey, um, but as far as, like, that's one thing that's different. I think our craft, we bring a, di a different element to uh, to creating music, for mm -hmm. example, right? On our album, In Order of Precedence, right now, um, our, our, our track list is a phrase. Our track list is a phrase. Like, and you like, can read it out. It's, it, it's The whole purpose in, 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 uh, of everything that we've embarked on this journey to even get to this point was to do one thing provide a message to the people that come after us because mm -hmm. people forget the purpose in life. You know what I mean? The purpose of, Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like, what's the whole purpose? People always wondered, like, nobody ever told somebody what the purpose in life is. So I thought about that when I had my son. You know what I mean? Greatest day, of my, one of the greatest days of my life. And that's what y'all did with the project. Was yeah, for right, yeah, right, right. It's for our sons. It's like, it's a message delivered specifically the track list is for a, our sons. Yeah, the but track the crazy list part is, the is, and the crazy part is that, that message, that phrase, those hidden gems that you get within the tracks, mm -hmm. like it doesn't just go to our children; it goes to everybody, everyone's ch uh, children. I've had uh, family members, even my uh, even friends from you know, what I'm saying from Brooklyn and right. from Harlem, from everybody that listened everybody. to our project. I had they called us on, in tears, you know, because they Brian. know our story, they know where Brian. we came from, they know Brian. the struggle that we've been through, and the fact that you know they, they was listening to the to the message, they was listening to it the way it was delivered. They looked at us. I had my like family crying. Like I'm Tears. so proud of y'all. Like y'all did that. I I would I'm I can't wait to share this message with my kids. Right. You know. So that that spoke volumes into what we're doing and and why we're doing it. Right. I feel like y'all yeah. put a new meaning to like uh, in the trenches because like y'all literally and figuratively. Both the trenches. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But let's talk about um in order of precedence, right? Yeah. Um, it's a message. Every track list is a part of the free. Because, you know, mm -hmm. we, we grew up without our mother, man. You no, know, mm -hmm. she, she she passed away to, when we were five, man. Yeah, so, like, we, we, we really do everything, you know what I'm saying, to make her proud. And, like, we, we would think about it, like, okay, if she was here, what she would want us to do? You know what I'm saying? Number one, take care of yours. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's the, like, what's the purpose in life, right? Uh, uh, take care of the ones that come uh, uh, come after you. Leave something for the, uh, uh, take care of the ones that's around you. Pay homage to the ones that came before you. And enjoyed the entire time. Mm. You know what I mean, the, the, so let's talk about let's talk about the track list and why why. Right, so before yeah, we get to the track list, right? okay, I got you. Because I ain't gonna act like I know. <laughs> I, I, I just, that's never been my, so when we say in order of precedence, what does that mean? The journey. <laughs> yeah, I will let you go. Ahead. Okay, so in order of precedence, obviously everything comes in succession, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever you choose to do right now, 
it's, it's there's something that's gonna formulate right after that. Exactly. Like if I say I want to walk out of this room, what am I doing when I get out the room? Okay. Okay. What's right. after I get out the room? Am I gonna go outside? Am I gonna go to the bed? Am I gonna right. you know go chill with my chick or am I gonna go you know play with my dog or whatever the case okay. is? You know everything has a precedence. Everything comes in succession of, of another. Okay. So in order of precedence is for us is a start of letting the our fan base know, hey, this is just the start. Guess where we're going now? Everything right. is in order. Everything is in order. Mm -hmm. Every track list that we've had. Uh, every every album that we have coming up is gonna come in succession. You can read it just like a freaking book. We want to we want to do something that nobody's track ever done. Like track lists and guess titles. what? The titles the titles go in succession just like the track lists do. Yeah. Mm. So that's what in order of precedence <laughs> comes from. We're okay. trying to show a a different meaning of just creating. I like that. See, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that didn't know that either because. Yeah. I'm gonna just ask questions when I do. Right. <laughs> yeah, 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 so let's talk about the track list now. Let's talk okay. about the meaning behind the track list. Let's, 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 let's break down the track list. Okay, let's go for it. We're talking about for, for your sons, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we go number one. In hell. In hell. Mm -hmm. what, what, what is that? We're telling my son, like, we, we, everything that we did to get to this point, we did it so you never have to. Mm -hmm. yeah, you so nev you'll, never have to, you'll never have to do what I had to do in the grimiest sentence because I made a way out mm -hmm. and we're not still there. And I'm trying to teach you while we're there. I'm mm. telling you, I, I made a way through hell, so you don't have to. Yeah. So mm. like that's pretty much in hell. So it's it's a it's a it's a creative idea of saying you know everybody says yo we're living in hell. This is hell on earth. This is mm. you know. So when you think about that in any in any situation, any setting that you put yourself in, like yo, hey man, this is hell. You know, I'm going through it right now. You know, people go through the struggle. They went through the they went through the the, the mud, the dirt, the grime, the, mm. the 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 snakes, the 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 everything. You know that the 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 griminess around surrounding you. You know what I'm saying? So mm. how do you how do you um, portray that? So we wanted to portray that we're in that setting. You get the feeling behind it when you first press play on that. You're gonna be like, whoa. Yeah, it's like my you, son the talking directly. Feeling, it's me talking. To, it's me talking to my son. Is how yeah. we start the whole project. The whole the whole feeling of the project. The whole feeling of that song. Excuse me. Literally gravitates. You're gonna you're gonna get pulled so, from it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, listen, man. Y'all won't get. And it's, it's, and it's, 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 that song went worldwide. Y'all won't get y'all shit today, man. Cause I um, <laughs> usually my shit is 15 minutes, 20 minutes. But we listen. We gonna have a conversation today, and Love I um, facts. just want to let the audience know that. Cause <laughs> love I have, is love. I have some shit to talk about with y'all. Let's go. Cool. Hell, right? Um, mm -hmm. we gonna get back to the track list, but let's segue yeah. for a second, right? Um, you guys been to y'all been in the military? Mm -hmm. yeah. Football, we started with football. Okay. In in, uh, in high school. Okay. Um, what what where, where were you? Oh, well, no, not even you were in, in America, Brooklyn. right? Yeah, we was in Brooklyn, yeah, New York. Okay, Brooklyn, you was yeah. in New York, but being in a different country, right? Okay. Right. Being in the trenches, right? Mm -hmm. You always hear Literally. us, and I say myself, right? Like we always say, I'm in the trenches, or I came from nothing, or like you don't know my story, right? Mm -hmm. But I feel like to somebody in a um. A, a, a third world country, <laughs> like, what are you talking about? I feel like they would laugh at us in America or in the United States, right? And I wanted to get y'all opinions from it. First like, time, I help y'all with that. What does hell really look like? Like, so do we really know what hell look like? No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> hell is, no. Yeah, nah, not at all. No. You, you're going to only get hell out of what you feel it is. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's ultimately what it's about. So and as war, far as you say, of, you say things like, um, or you, said, you stated that, um, you in the trenches. In, in the trenches in a uh, in third world country, right? What does that so mean? I've been to third world countries. I can tell you right now, they don't look at it as they're living in a in a poverty or they're living in this because they, they it's all about so networking. It's perspective. Yeah. It's perspective. We it's perspective. the only one that look like right. Yeah, but but, but they do the, right. So but no, they do understand. They do understand what they don't have and mm -hmm. they appreciate when they do get it. Wow. Even so more. that's the difference wow. that I've noticed. Yeah. yeah. Like the like if if I had to talk about an environment. War takes a piece of any man's soul, especially if you not a fobbit and you go outside the wire. Like, cause there's people who go to go to Afghanistan or you know Iraq and tell you these these lavish. Oh, I did this and I did that, but they never left the fob. Mm. They they might have been they, they, they might have been over there, but they but what I'm saying is it's crazy serve, over there. Yeah. Regardless, they serve. Yeah. You know what I'm saying I'm giving them respect, but real people who actually I mean went out the wire, it's like an ongoing thing amongst us to talk about. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Like, cause when you actually lead a wire and you going through these towns and you, and you, you smelling how it smells and you, you seeing the, 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 the craters everywhere and you seeing people on the side of the road and rivers like washing themselves. And, <laughs> All right, bro, you bring me I'm back. I'm sorry, my fault, <laughs> right, my yeah. fault, my I'm fault. Saying, I'm sorry, yeah, I'm sorry. I know I got some man. type of sense of like PTSD. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah he he brought me back, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. of course. No, I, man, thank you for segueing. And, and not even laughing. Thank you for segueing. He gonna go all day about that. But it's real though, because it's a part of the story, right? And I feel like just being there 
it takes a part of you there and away from it, mm -hmm. right? Because when you're away from you, you're always thinking about it. Yeah. When you're in it, you're trying to get out of it, right? It's right, like trying to survive. Yeah, it's right, like right, you're right, trying to survive. Because right, right. even when you're not there, you're trying to survive day to day, just like a regular individual, but you Facts. can't because you ain't regular. Facts. Yeah. Let's Facts. get back to the uh, in order precedent, right? Okay. In hell. We made this because we've been through hell. We've been through the trenches for real. Yes. So you don't have to go through hell and go up talking about it. Right. right? Next track. Who would have knew? Mm. Who would have knew? Who would have knew to, like, who would have knew that we would have made it through hell to get to where we are now? You know so what I'm saying? So many, we had so many people around us and the shit that we was involved with, nobody was like, nobody put the, if, if, if you was a gambling man, nobody is like, yo, the twins going to make it out of here. Twins mm -hmm. gonna actually go do something. That's Twins right. gonna do this. Nah, 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 nah. They 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 too roped in. They too they too tired and nah, man. They, I, I, they they were there were more people writing us off mm -hmm. than giving us the credit. The only person that was giving us credit was my father. Mm -hmm. My father was as a man. He was the only one that was like, nah. I'm telling all y'all, my son's gonna dip and they gonna he gonna dip and they both gonna get a crib. They gonna lead this bitch. They are gonna be out of here, guaranteed. Yeah. He was the only one speaking that into us. So you know? that's that's what the track list is more or less about. It's yeah. more of a it's more of a sentiment like yo. Who would have knew we would have made that, and now we are where we are, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because we literally telling them we did it. Yo, yeah. you know what's dope about that, what you just said? It made me it made me think of something. Everybody be like, why do I do this for people? Or why do I, why am I so generous and nice and genuine? Right. Or whatever the case may be. And, you know, usually when I hear people say that, they be like, because it wasn't given to me. Mm -hmm. But that's probably the opposite of why I do it, right. to be honest. Yeah. Right. Because right. it was given to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, nothing was given to me, but I definitely had opportunities. Yeah. I took advantage of them. You feel me? I definitely had people help me out. You know what I'm saying? Like, just to be right. honest, right? And yeah. I, when hey. you say your pops, right? It's like, I feel like so many people want to live this this false reality of, it wasn't done to me for me, so yeah. I want to do it for somebody else. Like it probably was done for you. You just probably overlooked it, like yeah, in another country, inherently right? Inherently selfish. They don't see it. They can't yeah. appreciate mm -hmm. it because right. they're so selfish, right? They're so right. blind to the fact that it is people trying to help you. Yeah. Right. So, like, right. Right. Let's 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 keep going. Hey, man. You, that, hey, you, that, you know, you know what? <laughs> two doom, two doom niggas, right? Is the mm. next one. Two yeah. doom niggas. It's just a it's, story. It's a creative story to show how easy it is to fall a victim to the trap. How easy yeah. it is to fall victim to. Surroundings to nature mm -hmm. to to what you're accustomed to, and it's talking about just exactly what we exactly. talked about, yeah. right? Right. <laughs> it's like we talk about this this order, right? Mm -hmm. We talk about this message that the, the project has, right? Facts. And you can see how well that it flows together just with, with the conversation. Exactly. Right. It's like exactly. it literally is a conversation starter. It literally is an order of precedence because mm -hmm. it's real. Yeah, yeah and so, it's fact, and it's literally about, yeah, it's literally a, a, a perspective between two individuals who are both trying to make it. Mm -hmm. One chose the wrong route. One chose the right route. They be they both when they when their paths meet, what happens? Because mm. the wrong person does the person right, wrong, and now the person that was doing right has to do wrong in retaliation. Mm. And this mm -hmm. you're meeting it right there in the same thing. It's an ever going cycle that you want to yeah. break. Sheesh, I'm looking at it right now. And then um, could acquire knowledge. <laughs> yeah, could acquire knowledge. So let, let's let's let's, let's slow down knowledge. for the people, right? Yeah, let's slow, let's down. slow down for the people, mm -hmm. just so they know where we at. In hell, who would have knew two doom niggas? Yep, acquired, acquired knowledge. knowledge. So now we at. Track four, acquired mm -hmm. knowledge. Mm -hmm. Just, just to keep our audience up to date because they might yeah. lose yeah. it, right? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. So we had um, track number one in hell. Number two is who would have knew. Number three is two doomed niggas, and number four, where we at right now, is acquired, acquired knowledge. knowledge. Mm -hmm. There yep. we go. So acquired <laughs> knowledge is about you know telling my son that it's not going to be easy. Like no matter what genre, no matter what field, no matter what business venture, no matter what you know journey that you go through in order to you know. Um, when you get to college or if you want to join the army, whatever you're inspired to want to do and, 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 and contribute to this world, it's not going to be easy. Mm. It, it, you're going to travel, you're going to come through challenges, you're going to deal with people telling you this and people telling you that and people leading you the wrong way, you're trying to figure it out, right? So naturally, you got to make sure that you reel yourself in and just be be mindful that it's a, it's a, it's a journey about acquiring the, 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 the most important thing in life, which is knowledge. Mm. Yeah, and I'll just make a quick little uh, thing about it. For me, acquire knowledge, when I had to write my verse, it was more geared towards dropping jewels. Because mm -hmm. everybody, you know, you want to teach, you want to teach, you know, your child something, you want to teach your man something, you want to teach your homie something, whatever, your girl, whatever. Hey, where can I provide for you? That's, That's what I wanted to do. Right. Yeah, in life, right. what, what did I learned to give back? And, and I wanted to make sure I dropped jewels in there to give back. Literally, so, dropping you know, all nothing but jewels. Just um, talking about acquiring knowledge, right? Um, you know, depending on the religion, depending on what you believe in, they say your whole purpose on life and and the whole purpose in life on earth is to tell somebody else about God, right? Mm -hmm. That's what some people say. I, I look at it deeper and saying just to respect everybody's religion and what they believe in. Absolutely. Your whole purpose in yep. life is to help somebody else 
go further than where you were at, right? I agree, or, absolutely. Or, or I agree. To not go through the same struggles you went through, right? right. Whether that's telling somebody about God or mm-hmm. in other ways. And when you say, like, you know, acquiring knowledge is, is super important. Correct. Because if I can help my brother, the person next to me, yeah. then I've done my purpose. I've fulfilled my purpose. Exactly. exactly. And, and, that's what, and that's what I love about what, what we do, you know what I'm saying, for the community mm-hmm. um, and, and, and stuff like that. Like, that's the reason why I joined the frat, because it's all about, you know, you know, lifting as we climb. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, That's we want right. to we want to do that. And if I'm not giving back or, or helping somebody else push forward or doing more than what they're supposed to do, then I'm, I'm not being I'm not being who I said I was going to be to you. I'm not being your father. I'm not being your brother. I'm not being your, your, your uncle. You know, I'm not I'm not like, for example, I'm, we're not promised tomorrow, but we will be learned enough at the, uh, up to the day to help the next person. Mm-hmm. You know, how do we know we're not buying time by doing those actions? Bro, we um, mm-hmm. you never know. You feel me? Just to be honest, like, um, right. shit. The day you're born, bro. Each day after that, you get closer to death. Exactly. It is exactly. what it is, right? Yeah. And um, just speaking of like, it's an just, inevitable <clears throat> thing. Right. Like, and not even just on some paternity stuff. Like, just you know, being. I always want to be who I say I am. Correct. Right? Like, I always want to be a great man. You know what I'm saying? I want to be a, a great influence to the people uh-huh. that, that that look at me. And that goes into like even with y'all next track, right? Found two queens. Mm-hmm. Right. I feel like that's super important. Absolutely. Right. Um. Hundred percent. And just for me, and I'm gonna let y'all speak about it. But yeah. I think you know, a lot of times, you know, growing up as as young jits, young dudes, we 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 see on TV what we call it niggas, honestly, right? But yeah. we see on TV what men supposed to be, right? And right. then we get older enough to understand that that was the complete opposite of what, <laughs> what we're supposed, supposed to be. Right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right? That's a yeah. fact. That's, um, a, fact. that's <laughs> a fact. How did we be good men? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, you, you, you're so pushed. Not a good nigga. Right? Yeah, yeah, not a good, good nigga. Yeah, how did we good? Yeah. Right. You know, and so I you, think your queen is a part of that. Absolutely. 100%. Honestly. And you got to treat you, your queen right because if somebody, you can tell a lot about a man by how he treats his woman. Absolutely. It is what it is. And that's why I wanted to open yeah. that up to you guys. Absolutely. Found two oh, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, that was that was my creative story on how I how I became you know how I met my soulmate you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying like I know you know no matter what we go through whether we were together apart I know yo that's my nigga you know what I'm saying like yeah. that's my nigga like, like I fuck right. with you on the on no like, matter how many times no I might not fuck hey, with you yeah you know what I'm saying yeah. I fuck with yeah. you yeah. heavy yeah. like yeah like I know <laughs> that's super you know important it's very important People you know and I just they need to know that that's yeah, what I'm saying you know, but so I felt I felt as though you know especially writing my my, my portion of the of the, of the, uh, of the um, song I felt like I needed to gravitate and tell how kind of creatively how I met her mm-hmm. and and in what she means to me right. so it was like what is it, it's like all of that is encompassing in one and you're t- and he's telling it to his, his telling children. my son that's how I met your mother so like yeah, yeah. You know I mean? like like literally get that and I did I the, that right and yeah. I and I I did the same thing I've been with my wife for over a decade mm. like you know what I mean like it's a it's 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 been a journey ups downs ins and outs so I wanted to creatively tell tell and teach my son what you should look out for. Mm. So when I say something like, you know, don't slip, watch for the banana peel. Like I'm telling him, hey, watch, you don't slip because there's a devil in a dress out here in a sundress that might take you, take your eyes off of what's really important to you. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, which is your queen? Mm-hmm. How did you win in the, how did you win in the game of life if, if, or, or the game of chess? What's the most important piece on the chessboard? The queen. The queen. For sure. Yeah. They make, they make the. <laughs> I mean. They make yeah. the most moves. They, 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 they do all the work. They, yeah. they do a lot of the work and protect the king, so the king can be the king. I mean, even if deeper, even not even deeper, but uh, even like as a um, another example, right? Right. The king of the jungle is the lion, right? They say, mm-hmm. but who really does the work for the lion? Yeah. Honestly, exactly. Right? If you know yeah. something about facts. something, you know that is yeah. the is the is the, is the lioness. The lioness who yeah. gets the food. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's the facts. lioness. Like she's yeah. faster. Mm-hmm. Honestly, you feel yeah. me? Like mm-hmm. let's be real. That's a um, fact. I think that's super important because you know, um, and, and like you said, uh, be careful for the banana peel. I like that, right? Yeah, that, yeah. that example because yeah. a lot of times we ignore temptation because. Is right in our face, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right, and we think it's so normal. Yeah, and yeah. like and, and it's normalized. It's, it's pretty. It's normalized. Right, and yeah. in my in my in my field, like in in, in nightlife and entertainment, right. you get what I'm saying. It's, it's very tricky because you got to. This is with anything. You gotta. Uh, you gotta do your best to eliminate distractions. Distractions, right? Because it's going to be there. Facts. It is what it is. Like That's I just feel like like temptation is real. Mm-hmm. We ain't gonna act like it's fake. Yeah. We ain't gonna act like we aren't. Men of a caliber to eliminate. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So like, it's our job. Like, to, it's our job to eliminate that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. And I think that's, that's part. Good. And that's part of. But that's part of what protecting the kingdom is doing. Mm. You know, woman. You give a woman a home, a house. She makes it a home. Facts. You yeah. give a woman some uh, groceries. She makes it a meal. 
know what I mean? And that's our job. Our job naturally in this kingdom is to freaking protect it. Mm. So that's part of protecting it. Like, and, and, and many men fail at doing that. That's and they right. end up breaking up all these homes. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and that that's what I want to teach my son to, to, to not do. You and see it's, what I'm it's so much more than just your son. Your son, mm. like, it's, 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 it's every kid. It's everybody's it's kid. Every it's child. everybody's it's child. Even, it's, it's, and, I mean, sorry, but <laughs> it's not even just for children. Yeah, it's no. for men too. Right? Yeah, learn. I feel like we. You, you study learning every day. Absolutely. Right? And there's somebody out there that, that just ain't get it yet. Right. You know what I'm saying? And right. they need to hear these messages. But we have face death. Oh, right? face death. Yeah. yeah. Man, face that's death. a rough one right there. Um, yeah. Mm. I'll, let we, you, I'll, I'll, I'll let you right. touch on that. Yeah. So, Again, both very figuratively deep and, and figuratively. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 literally, right? So, <laughs> I mean, catch obviously. Another, catch another <laughs> yeah. So, obviously, every every day, you know, we we, we, we we face death every time we wake up in the morning. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, we have, we, we have a chance of not waking up. You know what I'm saying? For various different reasons you know we but for us face death was more like hindering or, or honing in on that message but also telling a story like hey we faced death plenty of times but it wanted to give you hope to like hey mm -hmm. don't give up don't don't quit. don't quit. quit you know the odds are against you every day that you walk outside don't mm -hmm. give in you know to 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 the the evils of life don't give in to the Whatever don't, don't give it up is. so yeah don't yeah. Your life is so precious don't give it up so easy you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying so that was us Kind of creatively, you know, fighting the battle of suicide because that's a very touchy so right. subject. Mm -hmm. With yep. with me yep. dealing with that with some of my, some of my other service members that 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 you know, God rest their soul, you know, made the, uh, the 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 ultimate sacrifice, which I feel as though was wrong. You know, and I wish I could, they was here for me to tell them that. You know what I'm saying? But off that subject, that's just more or less and like giving that message, like don't give up. Yeah, because like, I mean, the moment really, the only time you really lose is the moment you quit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Honestly, yeah, right? exactly. I mean, and Fight. Right, right. And, and, that, and that's and that's more or less like when I was coming when I came home from Afghanistan, I was a broken man, mm -hmm. and I give my wife all the credit because she 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 brought me back from a very dark place. Like I literally did not think that I was alive for like two years. I thought I was living in like a a Sims Matrix reality or something like that. I didn't really mm -hmm. feel like it was real. So like when I, when I was battling that suit when I was battling that suicide, I was like I. I I just want to know what's real, what's on the other side of that line. I was going deeper and deeper and deeper down that rabbit hole, and then my wife really reeled me back in. And like you know, and 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 and, and I was telling my son that story. Like I'm explaining to him all the different ways that I was doing that stupidness. But 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 the only thing that kept me alive was the idea of raising you. Mm. That's what got me through. The idea of being able to, to to do for you, do for others, do for my wife. You know what I'm saying? Do for do for the people around me. Do for my twin. Do for everybody. So that's what that's what that's what kept me motivated, and I'm just embarking that piece of little knowledge on my son to like not nah, give up. Man, bro, mm -hmm. it's dope, man. I think um, we talking about we was gonna have this conversation, right? And which is needed to be had. We still got one more track to go to, but right. um, it's just dope because with we started talking music, we talking this track list, right? Mm -hmm. The track list <laughs> is the track list off of you guys' project, mm -hmm. right? Twins, two artists mm -hmm. that. Decided to do this together, Facts. Yeah. but it's like we're talking everything but music. Well, we didn't have a choice. But we're talking music, like, <laughs> yeah. like we're literally talking. <laughs> literally. Yeah, they go both literally and figuratively. I like, might yep. call an interview that, but <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're talking. Uh, it's like at this at, at this point, it's a podcast. It's not even an interview, but <laughs> <laughs> copy. But yeah, I said it to say because like you know, we're talking music, but at the same time, we're talking everything Life. but music, right? right? Because it's it's just important. And yeah. I think if you ask, right, like once you when somebody says will make you stand out or um, what do you bring that somebody else bring is like reality, right? Yeah. It's like a sense of realness yeah. Yeah. in a world full of everybody wanting to do what's on TV and yep. entertain, I'm gonna show you what's real. Real, right, right. right. But let's go to the last track. That's a fact. Let's, wait, wait. We're gonna break it down again for the people that don't know. Um, we're gonna <laughs> break the whole thing down. It's in hell, who would have known, or who would have knew, two doomed, two doomed niggas, I gotta start over. In hell, who would have knew, two doomed niggas acquired knowledge Found two queens, faced death, and, and left you behind. And left you, and left you behind. behind. Yep, yep. So that's literally, I'm, I'm, literally that whole thing was just every single thing that I wanted my son to pay attention to, mm. every detail, every, every, everything about what we just told you was to tell you that your soul was my investment. Mm. Yeah, everything I'm blessed with and more. My message do everything I couldn't do and more. Everything I leave behind 
it's yours. Yeah. Like I'm mm-hmm. talking directly to 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 our children, to, to everybody's to, children, to, to our listeners, to our to our people fans, that, everybody. You know, to the to the people that. that haven't grew up to that to with that message. And how can I teach you more? You know, what I'm saying like I'm leaving you with this. Like that's mm-hmm. that's pretty much what. What do you do? Ultimately, with it? what do you do with it? We leaving man, you with this. I had it my way, man. I will just give you guys a deal. Right <laughs> like, honestly, because I feel like, man, I I do uh. And this is that's like, refreshing, man. That's an honor. Uh, it's, 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 it's because it's so much more than music, right? Right. And I feel like um, I tell people all the time, like when we're doing these interviews, yeah, it's cool to know why you started, who your favorite influence, or why right. you get to like it's cool. Right. But at the end of the day, when we talk about network, when we talk about marketing, mm-hmm. people buy into who you are. Absolutely. Right. Like, no matter how your music is, like um, to be honest, don't kill me. I wasn't the biggest fan of Nipsey Hussle music. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, but Nipsey Hussle himself. Amazing. Like, yeah. I'm probably yeah, like he's yeah, yeah. one of his Amazing. biggest fans, if yeah, that makes yeah, sense, right? Yeah, like absolutely. music aside, because like he's right. just such a great he was he's just a great, a great, he's a great person. Man. He goes out like yeah, and fact. he can teach you so much uh-huh, yeah, yeah. knowledge. Like, right. And I think that right there is more important than anything else that any artist have to offer. Mm-hmm. Right. And I feel like I do a, a lot of these interviews and um which is uh fortunate and a blessing. I thank y'all for supporting me too. No, of course, um, man. Of course, definitely of course. make that known. Uh, Absolutely, but man. I do so many of these interviews. It's rare that you do an interview when it's like, all right, I charge this for this, but we're gonna do this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? I'm, right, right. That's a, fact. Like, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. But that shows that goes to show your spirit and and what we talk about in this age, this yep. new day and age, them young people say energy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it shows your energy that you have yeah. about you for real. Um. I think it's dope, man. Um, so appreciate it. That. Appreciate it. Project. Mm-hmm. What now? Oh, we got this more. This more coming. More coming. <laughs> so mm-hmm. like more I coming. Said, it's an order of precedence, so the next one's coming. Literally in succession. Man, mm-hmm. I got to do my job to uh, just continue to grow. I got to, and, and and that's for you guys. That's for um, any other artists that's out there. And I mean this because, like, like I said. If I could, I could give you the deal right now, right? right. Well, I, the lo- I mean, we be getting a lot of love, man. Like even Buster reached out. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, and 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 and. Gotta Devon, get in that Devon, room, I mean, Devontae Magic, he reached yeah. out. Gotta get in that we, room. That's though. I mean, that's the that's the that's what takes the work. Mm-hmm. Like the consistently, the showing that we're really serious. This is what we're giving our all to. Mm-hmm. Like we we want this really bad, and we want the world to hear this message and to, mm-hmm. and to fuck with us. Because you fuck with us, you go, you fucking we, we fucking with you, mm-hmm. and you going and you going to enjoy the ride the entire time. Facts. Yeah. Nah, I mean, Facts. man, that's what I was saying. Like, I feel like um, it's just it, your your story, not even just the story. Oh, shout right? out to Desert Storm Radio too. That was, yeah, they, they reached out. They they've been playing that shit too. Nah, nah, that's fire, bro. Yeah, like that's been, fire. They, yeah. I they been, you showed me the Buster Rhymes. So yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Desert Storm Radio, they've been playing our shit consistently all over the world right now. Damn, like, that's it's, lit, it's, bro. I, Congrats, I appreciate that. I appreciate it. But that just goes to what I said. What I'm saying, man. You know, like you guys motivate me to like not more so your story because we all got our own story, whatever. But like just the the energy that you guys bring it makes me want to like continue to, f- to climb that climb that fight that fight Absolutely. so I'm getting bigger rooms and help people Absolutely. out like you because it's like yeah. granted like you said I feel like <clears throat> it's with all of us and I, I'm, I'm I'm no um I'm always I can always talk my own faults I'm okay with that yeah, like I feel like me one too. thing about me is I don't recognize or acknowledge the power that I have because I'm living it Mm-hmm. Right, or, but I think that's what makes me great. Yeah, I'm always wanting Stay more. Stay humble. You know what I'm saying? But I say yeah. that to say, like, you guys really make me want to like continue to get make my platform bigger. Hundred percent. Just so I can bring you guys on and more people can see. Right. Yeah, because absolutely. like, it's, like I think the story is just super dope. Like, absolutely. just honestly, how y'all broke appreciate the track that. list down. Mm-hmm. I mean that. Like, it ain't just right. some like right. saying it. Like, I, 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 I tell you this, man. I mean this, man. I want. I appreciate you even having us up on, this, on your platform no in the first place to even reach out to your followers and. Let them know that who, you know if they're interested in us or whatever the case is. But I, I always want to you know build relationships, build relationships yeah. and, and make everybody grow. You know what I'm saying? Nice. That's what this is whatever about. Whatever we know. could do to help you. Yeah. I mean, nah, man. Tell the people. Uh, like, I just feel like. <laughs> I mean, it's <laughs> yeah, it gets deep. Like, so that the track list is so deep because it literally is a last one and testament. Like, if if I died tomorrow and everything stopped, I know he's gonna take care of my family. He's gonna take me of my kids. Mm-hmm. But what did I leave an imprint on this this young man's life to grow up and do? What can mm-hmm. I do for a young man in, in in a third world country that might first time get a radio and come across my song and he's like, what the heck is this? What can I embark on him to motivate him or her 
or, 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 or th that specific family to build and be better and be great. I mean, I think the moral Absolutely. of it is life itself. It's like Facts. you're giving life mm -hmm. to somebody else, right. to be honest, right? Absolutely. Um, Share our energy. Let the people know where to follow you guys at, um, mm -hmm. how they yeah. can support you. And so you can find us on uh, on Instagram at Kings County Twins. That's Kings with a K, with a Z, uh, County with a K, two W I I N Z. Mm. And uh, our, our in order of precedence is streaming on every platform. All you can look platforms. it up. Literally. And I appreciate it, guys. Uh, Thank you for having us. I'm going to have to say that. Nah, man. Thank you for having us, man. Thank you so much for having us, man. Absolutely. I appreciate it's been your an time. Honor, bro. Kings County Twins, man. I appreciate you guys for pulling up. Always. Uh, definitely going to drop this. And all my people support you, man. Absolutely. Right. Appreciate right. it, man. All my peoples as well, man. Great conversation, man. Kings County Twins. More more to come, man. Mr. Yeah, J. yeah. It's a wrap. We out. All right.